Hi, hey, y'all. Welcome. So this is the uh, this is a little preview, sneak preview of something that we've been working on. Uh, uh, I'm here with a few of the team members over at Pseudorite, and we are uh, midstream on a project that we're calling the Story Bible Unlimited Characters Beta. Um, so by way of a little bit of background, uh, Story Bible is a feature that is core to Pseudorite. It allows you to go from just a seed of an idea to a, a fully developed novel um, just by sort of uh, uh, gradually adding fidelity to your story. You fill out the, the different sections uh, and details regarding your story as you have them, and you can go, get to a place where you're eventually generating beats, even prose, uh, for your chapters. Uh, a core part of that is your characters. Uh, and one of the most common requests, uh, we did have a, a limit on characters, uh, which was a, I believe, a 700 word limit, um, which is limiting. Uh, uh, and so uh, a big request was unlimited characters, and we wanted to do that, but we wanted to do that uh, we wanted to go above and beyond. Uh, and, and so we uh, have sort of rethought how we're approaching uh, not just the characters box, but Story Bible in general. Uh, and I'm here with the Brain Trust that has been uh, orchestrating that. Um, we have a beta going right now with about 100 folks in it. Uh, they're kicking the tires on it. Uh, and yeah, we have some cool stuff to preview today. So I'm going to turn it over to Ryan, who can tell you a little bit more about that. Okay, cool. So we have two exciting features to demo today. One is uh, that you can now reorder characters. So Josh Charles is going to demo that. He was the developer on that. And then... Another exciting feature we have is that you can now set up your own custom character templates so that each character you create will have its own set of traits that you set up uh, initially and then they're sort of persisted on. And then at the end, I'll give you a little bit of a preview at what we're going to work on next and a request for some feedback. So... Stay tuned. Kick it over to Josh to share his screen and demo. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Uh, so here, let me share my screen. And we're looking at my copy of uh, a story I've been working on. Um, so the first thing I want to show is actually not directly related to sorting, but we now are persisting whether or not these are in a collapsed state. Um, so I have Daryl expanded if I were to close the site and come back. Scroll down here. Daryl is expanded and all of them, the rest are still collapsed. So that was just a nice little change for you. Uh, we also have added this handle. You may notice that it this can be used to drag and reorder your characters into whichever order that you like. Um, so in this case, Sarah is actually the main character, and I will drag her up to the top. And that's there. Uh, we also have just a, a little thing. If you do have a character expanded and you want to reorder, it should collapse and then reopen for you once you have it in the place that you want it. So that is reordering characters. <laughs> wow. Uh Josh, quick question. If I create a new character, I'm going to always have to drag it down to the bottom. Is this so annoying? Is there anything we could do about that? Yeah, you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> so what? when I hit create character, it's automatically added at the bottom for you. And of course, you can click and move it wherever you want. Nice. <laughs> Just a quick note, currently, if you create a new character, it's gonna be added to the bottom, but we won't actually scroll you down there just yet. We're gonna add that soon so that you don't accidentally create like 20 characters at the bottom of your cast. They're just sitting there empty because you forgot to scroll down. But we're listening to the feedback, a bunch of different people in Discord told us they wanted to go to the bottom, so now it goes to the bottom. Yeah. Okay, Ginny, take it away. Great, yeah, let me share my screen here. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, so what I've been working on is the ability to add default traits uh, to your characters. You can see the way my characters are created right now, if I were to create one, is with our pseudo right defined defaults of personality, background, physical description, and dialogue style. But you'll notice there's a customize button up here now, which I can click. I have these four categories, which are editable. So I can maybe change the name of anything that doesn't suit me and call it like, looks like. I can also add new categories, like perhaps core wound or motivation. Um, I can play with the order of things here. So if I think motivation is really important, I can move it all the way up to the top, uh, maybe move looks like down to the bottom, put things in the order I want, and then save my new defaults. Once these are saved, if I create a new character, you will see it is created with my new defaults in the order I have specified. And I can still add uh, individual custom fields for a specific character if I like. So yeah. And just to be to be crystal clear, this is very cool. It does not change your existing, if you have existing characters and then you go to customize, they all stay as is. That is correct. Currently, it won't change any of your previously created characters, so you don't have to worry about losing content or anything like that. In the future, we have talked about working on the ability to add these to your created characters. So what that will do is any of these categories that the characters in your current project don't have will get added. So for the case of Cassandra here, I would get uh, motivation, core wound, and looks like to play with. And the plan there too is just, just to clarify, if there if there's fields that are already there in your, you you won't be adding duplicate fields. So let's say for example, dialogue style is already there and you're keeping that in your template, you don't have to like remove it to add and then put it back in. It will automatically detect if a field is already there and not duplicate it. Correct. So yeah, that's the um, character default. Cool. Super Yay. excited about how this can supercharge your workflow. These preferences for now will be set at the account level but in the future, we might be able to make it more specific. Uh, we really want feedback, so let us know um, what you run into. I think if you have different, if you have like slightly different preferences for your projects, you could include both in one and just remove the ones you don't want. And if you leave something blank, uh, Sudorite will ignore it when it's looking at your characters. So really excited about how this will make the workflow more efficient for folks who have an established process and preference for how they like to structure their characters. Moving forward, the next big thing that we're going to be working on is generating characters. So similar to how the current story Bible works, there's a button you can click, you get a bunch of characters. We would love feedback on how folks want to use that uh, by default. I think the first thing that we're gonna work on is just matching the current, cloning the current behavior. So we'll generate a, you know, a few characters based on your synopsis or brain dump. So if you don't have a synopsis, you'll only look at brain dump. Shout out to uh, Nicole Broussard for always reminding us that synopsis should be optional. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, but we would love feedback on how else you would like to generate characters. So for example, you could generate a single character, three characters, guided generate characters. Let us know uh, what your preferences are there in the Discord. And uh, if you're seeing this video and you're not in the beta, uh, Michael can tell you how to get in the beta. That's right. Uh, so 
in the description here on YouTube, which is where I hope you're watching this, uh, uh, click through to YouTube. If you're not in the description section, there's going to be a link to an Airtable form. You can complete that Airtable form to join the uh, unlimited characters uh, beta wait list. Um, we're inviting folks sort of on a rolling basis as as we have as we introduce new features, as we have capacity. Um, you'll gain access to uh, not just the features, but also a private channel in the Pseudorite community discord where you can discuss, uh, you can share your feedback with us, raise your questions to us and share uh, your experience with other testers. Um, so uh, please do sign up for that. Please do join the community discord if you're not already a member of that as well. Awesome. To All right, and beyond. Happy writing. May oh, look at that. In the pseudoverse. <laughs> All right. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>